$10,000 a month, three schools, snack only vending machines yeah. and drinks, as we know, outsell snacks, mm -hmm. right? Typically yeah, two to one. If we had drinks in there, you'd be doing $25,000 a month between those schools probably. Bobby. Ryan, how's it going? Good, how are you? Pretty good, better now. Better now, <laughs> good, good, good. Uh, well, thanks for jumping on this call, I really appreciate it. I know you're a busy gal with your nearly 30 vending machine business down there in the Houston, yep. Texas area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been really busy, it's been fun. Yeah, it's been an experience, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's just jump into this. Let's start from the beginning, right? Okay. So when you got into this industry and in the healthy vending industry you had worked with one of these healthy vending business opportunities out there so we won't name any names but we will let you know right anybody who's viewing there are three of them out there there's healthy you vending naturals to go vending and healthier for you vending are the ones that come up the most so bobby you had uh, invested and worked with one of those companies how was that yeah so i started with a franchise broker okay. um, so they told me that one of them was the only franchise in the vending world which according to your videos is exactly 100% accurate. Yeah, for those who are watching above, I will link a, a review of these three companies here on my YouTube channel. And you can uh, take a look at that and get a deeper dive on these companies and understanding, you know, what they do and how they work and, you know, great questions to ask when considering these companies and uh, and any healthy vending opportunity. So yeah, you connected with a franchise broker, they recommended mm -hmm. one of these companies and yep. you went down their uh, discovery process and decided to invest. Why did you decide to invest with them? I did. Um, so vending just seemed like the best opportunity. Um, it was pitched as passive, which it definitely has become passive, but in the beginning it was not. And, you know, just looking at the ROIs and what kind of money you can make in vending, it was very appealing. So, so I yeah. started with them, got an SBA loan, and then um, started with 12 machines. Okay, 12 so, machines. How mm -hmm. much, do you mind me asking how much you invested? So each machine was a little under 11,000 a machine. Okay. So I took out 150K SBA loan okay. and had some working capital in that loan as well and bought a cargo van a little later. So yeah, okay. pretty steep loan to start. So that was a, I mean, well over $130,000 investment and $50,000 loan, as you mentioned. And what were your expectations? What did you go into this when they came down to what were you gonna make with the business? Pretty much, I think they are, we kind of pitch around, you know, we probably make like five to, five to a thousand net a month like per machine right and then they also tell you that they're going to include the locations so they're going to send yeah. locators out there to your market and secure you some you know great locations that sort of thing okay. and then you don't get your machine shipped to you until they secure the location but you pay for the machines completely up front so, okay. so that money is already sent to them and then they kind of just hold your machines until they find your location we got the machines placed what kind of locations a lot of assisted livings assisted living okay yeah, so one of them had about, I think it was like 30, 40 employees and maybe around like 50, 60 residents, something like that. And we were doing a whopping 10 to 12 sales a day in that. No, I was right. So we ended up, I think, securing about four, it was three or four assisted livings and I've since had to move them all, so. You had to move them all. So they only generated 10 to 12 sales a day. So, and those are in operation, what? Are those in operation seven days a week or five days a week? It's a seven day a week operation. Seven day a week, you're still only 70, you know, 80 sales a week. Which is what you have to look at with assisted livings is a lot of the residents there are, very, are on very fixed incomes. So oh, wow. a lot of the people in those locations that are gonna be buying from your machines are going to be employees. Yeah. So really it's the employee count, which was what, 30 to 40 you said? Yeah, very low. Yeah. And yeah. then one of them, one of them had a higher play count. I think they had 70 employees, but they put two machines in there. So again, per what? machine. Yeah. Two machines, two combo machines? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. But I didn't get the location secured unless I gave them two because that's what they wanted. So just me being new to vending, I was like, okay, y'all know oh. what's, what the right thing to do is here. So uh, yeah, I just kind of left it up to them. Gotcha. Then, so you were making almost no money yeah, and got it. Much. And so then what and, happened from there? So you had four, four, so five machines secured out of 11 and your revenue was roughly how much per month? I don't remember. It was a, a while ago, but it's very low. So I saw at that point I was doing, I had a full-time job. I was in medical sales or whatnot. And I kind of looked at it and I was like, you know, if I want this to work and I want to be able to pay off 
my SBA loan and actually make money in this business. I need to, you know, kind of hit the pavement and get some locations myself. Yeah. So luckily I have a background in sales and I was able to get into some really big locations yeah. myself. And that's when I started seeing my business grow. So talk about the locations you secured. Okay. So I secured a location that now is my biggest location. There's four machines in there and it does a hundred thousand a year. So that's the biggest location I secured. Yeah. And I got yeah. that one a few months later and that was like my gold mine. Okay. Are you talking about the schools? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So no, what? Yeah. So what's that? What's so that, that one's like? my biggest location. It's like an hour from the schools. Um, so I secured this one way before I started working with you. But okay. uh, yeah, so I secured that one, and it's a warehouse. It's a it's a big warehouse. They have uh, three hundred employees or so. Yep. So I was confused there because I know we got you into the schools. Yeah, um, yeah. That's amazing. So are, okay, good. So warehouse. Three, what was the number? Three hundred employees. Mm -hmm. The magic number here of Indian Accelerator. So good. That's awesome. So now uh, talk to me about their machines. Originally, you had purchased through their machines for I think it was like 10 6 or something yeah but close 10, to like 600 mm -hmm. and yeah and then with that said so you bought through the healthy vending business opportunity right mm -hmm. and they're a reseller of these machines uh, which if I'm not mistaken are USI vending machines which are under the Wittern group correct yeah so that was the initial 12 that I got was under the Wittern group USI mm -hmm. yeah correct got it how were those machines on the technology servicing how have they been so I've had a couple motors go out um, I've had a cooling unit go out and I had to replace that already when I've only been in the business like three years going on three yeah some uh, some problems there and then with with the legs too I had some of those legs get bent up on delivery and so that was a little frustrating but yeah, yeah. just like, some issues here and there yeah got it. and what the jet screen sometimes like freeze when you tap it you have to reset the whole machine and then what about refunds how does their Ivan technology work how well <laughs> <laughs> so at first it was doing really well and now it's yeah, it's not doing so well. I've had a lot more people like shaking my machines because the product isn't dispensing and yep. some of the sensors on them have gone out as well. So there's a sensor, you know, at, at the bottom that senses when a product drops. So when they start flashing, like I've actually had a couple of those go out too. Got so. it. Okay. Now on top of all of that, we got together. We did something pretty magnificent for you, which was help you get into public schools for your vending machines. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it was great when I met you because then I was able to actually double my business, so. Yes, thank you for that. So double your business, double your vending machine revenue, double your vending machine sales, and double your vending machine profits. So amazing, congratulations. We ended up responding to a vending machine service RFP for a public school district. And interesting enough, I reached out to Bobby, <laughs> cold called her because she was on my email list and said, hey, we got an RFP in the Houston area for a public school district and you've never been in public schools before and lo and behold, mm -hmm. we won it. And we didn't, without full disclosure, we didn't win at all. We won the snack services and we lost the drink services for the RFP, which learning from that, that was the last RFP that we lost drink services in a public school. So talk to me about that. I know that you're going to share your sales reports today for the last yep. 30 days, correct? Yes, correct. Yeah, let's pull those up. Let's see how these All right. machines are doing at a public school. All right. Can you see my screen? I can see your screen. So yeah, what um, are we looking at here? All right. So these first three right here, these are my three machines at my biggest high school. So in the last 30 days, they did, you know, 63.45 in sales, which is awesome. Yeah. And that's just snacks. So yeah, very good there. And then the second one right here is my other high school. I only have one machine there, but I would love to find another spot to put another machine in there because I think probably do around the same, honestly. Okay. Because there's so many kids just in line for it during lunchtime. Yep, and yep. then these last two right here are my junior highs. So. so your junior highs, got it. So in, in total, you've got $10,028 collected between three schools in one month from just snack only vending machines, correct? So it's two high schools, two junior highs. So four excuse schools. Me. Yeah, yeah, two, yeah. Oh, excuse me. So yeah. two high schools, two junior high schools. So, oh, I got you. So you got three vending machines at one high school, one vending machine one at one at high other. school, yeah. and then a one vending machine at each junior yeah. high school. Yeah. So at the very least, at $976, your one junior high school is tripling average vending machine revenues, and then your other machines are quadrupling and more average vending machine revenues from just selling snacks. Yeah, honestly, they're killing it. My employee has to go fill like every other day. <laughs> yeah, that's so amazing. So it keeps her really busy. Yeah, so we're actually adding a fourth machine to the high school that has the three. So we're having a fourth one because they have the space for it tomorrow, actually. Yeah, $10,000 a month, three schools, snack only vending machines. Yeah. <laughs> and drinks, as we know, outsell snacks, mm -hmm. right? Typically yeah, two to one. If we had drinks in there, you'd be doing $25,000 a month between those schools, probably. Yeah, no, easily. Kids complain right now about like their machines being empty 
and day and that kind of thing. The drink machines. The drink machines are um, there. Right. Right. So the drink machines are full and you know if I had that as well, I mean yeah, we'd easily like okay. double. Well that contract's gonna come up in the future. We're gonna go after it again. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So now you've turned this business into a fully passive business, correct? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I have two employees right now. They're yep. both doing around, you know, twenty five hours a week. So honestly it's kinda like one full time employee. It's passive. I'm able to travel, able to, you know, get be a part of other job opportunities if I want to. So yeah, I've I've finally built it's it's taken a lot of work from the beginning because I really had to jump in there and work on it myself. Yep. And then I had to connect with you and you obviously landed yeah. me such a great contract. But now I finally have such a solid route that I can kinda sit back and just manage from my phone. Yeah. No, yeah. that's amazing. Good for you. Congratulations. Yeah, so thanks. so with that now at the in full disclosure, you don't ha yet have any crane vending machines. I do not, and I would love to see what they look like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we well, you know what they look like. More importantly than I mean, that, in person. Yeah, 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 yeah. More importantly than that would be the uh, the reliability and absolutely the the wow factor because Crane definitely does that with the touchscreen technology, the Shervan guaranteed product delivery, and all that good stuff. So, well, we hope to, we want to see it continue to expand. We're going to help you go after that drink contract in the future. You're doing amazing. So, so cool. Congratulations, Bobby. Yeah, thank uh, you. Appreciate you being on here. Appreciate you being a client. You're amazing, and you run an amazing business. Obviously, very passive for you. You're to do other things, other job opportunities, business opportunities, investments, and what have you, and also spend more time with your beautiful little son. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, yeah I appreciate I appreciate the help, and yeah, let's get some more drink contracts in the future. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. So all right, we'll talk to you soon.